Hey guys, it's Paul. I'm excited to show you the free version of Zoho CRM for 2019. If you're looking for more information on paid versions or you are watching this in the future, it's not 2019 anymore, have a look in the description below uh, and I'll put a link to more relevant videos for you. But I just want to say that this is this is a video for the free version. You're not going to pay anything for this version. I'm going to give you a full introduction, a full tutorial on how to use those CRM. I'll show you some features and I will give you hopefully the best things that you can that you can get out of this CRM. Just a few housekeeping things. If you look in the description, if you're watching on YouTube, uh, I will I will itemize the lessons so you'll see the times that each part starts so you can jump to that lesson. So if you don't want to listen to me too much, you can dive past me and just click to a link. I'll also near the end talk to you about my free uh, training forum, which is Zoho paulnicholson.com which is a full training for forum on Zoho, Zoho CRM especially, where you can log in and just talk Zoho. But we'll come to that at the end, and I'll talk to you also about Zoho One. Why I really like Zoho is is you're going to be able to scale up to do whatever you want in Zoho. The free version is obviously a little bit limited, but you can still do a lot in it. But then when you step up to the new versions or the paid versions. And then you have you if you have a look at something called Zoho One, uh, you're going to see some information from me about Zoho One, where it's all of Zoho's apps in one uh, bundle. Really cool, worth looking at. Okay, so we're going to dive into it. First things first, it's really cool. It really helps me if you just pause me at this point and comment below um, why you're here, what you're looking to learn, what do you want from Zoho. And I will reply. I reply to every comment. The 2018 videos got, um, I think, 600 comments. Because every time you reply, uh, every time you leave a comment, I do reply to all the comments. Uh, it also helps me building these videos going forward. And I can give you information that may be more relevant to you and what you need out of it. So just pause me. Do me a big favor and just say that this is why I'm here. This is what I'm looking for. Thank you. So let's get started. We're going to sign up. We're going to do it everything in the free version. You can go to zoho.com forward slash CRM to sign up. It'd be really cool if you signed up via paulnicholson.com, Zoho CRM. That'll take you to a page where uh, the free version sign up links at the top and then my training link. What this will do, it's a free version, so I'm not going to get paid anything for you signing up for the free version. It just lets the people at Zoho know that I refer quite a few people via my videos. It helps me carry a little bit of weight with support and help from them, guys. So, um, Zoho.com, uh, sorry, paulnicholson.com forward slash Zoho CRM. And then Zoho.com or Zoho.eu. If you're in the EU, you're probably going to want to sign up with an EU database. Um, it, it's all to do with where you want the data stored. If you're in the EU use the EU version, everybody else use .com. So you're gonna jump in, it's gonna ask you your company name. I'm gonna do this as a security company. I, I, I do a lot of work with security companies. My um, my expertise and, you know, I've had years of being a security company, uh, sorry, working in the security industry makes it easier for me to do it like this uh, phone number this is my phone number don't phone me I don't answer it uh, I agree to terms I would like I would like marketing communications that's up to you um, I, I'm not a big fan of emails like probably most people so you basically sorry you're gonna put in your company name you're gonna put in your email address and you're gonna sign up as long as everything's happy it will jump you up to the sign up and you will be ready to start your uh, Zoho CRM setup. So you're going to get an email. I'm going to get an email because you use my link. So I'll get an email. And then you're just going to confirm your account. It said continue there, but I just clicked back, right? You could just click continue to sign in here. And it will take you to the same place. Uh, eventually access. No, just go here. So... Company name, we're happy me security. Phone number again. 
time zone, obviously set it to whatever your time zone is. GMT minus 12. Mine is obviously somewhere Greenwich Mean Time. Uh, set your language, set your currency, and I would, if you're testing this out, it's going to be really easy to remove this. Explore using sample data. I'm going to show you how to remove it later, but it just means it's going to populate your um, it's going to populate your CRM with some information. Okay, so that's the initial sign up. I'm going to talk you through uh, what all the tabs mean, and we're going to actually remove. We're going to remove this um, this enterprise trial, right? I just want to quickly talk about pricing. Zoho is free. It's free to use. Uh, free for free users. Every now and again, it's ten users, and it's easier to say free for ten users. But it is. It has been for this. I think at least a year now. Free for three users. Then there's obviously different version upgrades at different pricing. So you're going to start with the free. This is all about the free version. Obviously, there's there's a lot of things that aren't checked on the free version, but I just wanted to make sure you knew it was free for three users uh, and you should be good to go. Now, what we want to do is we want to remove these this uh, enterprise level because you're trying the top level. You're trying the $35 a month version. So what you're going to do is you end up trying to change things and then you work out your trial. Your trial expires and... Um, and half the things that you messed about with don't work. So to remove remove the trial, I mean you can leave you can leave it in enterprise if you want, but uh, I would go here straight away and just switch to free version. So I understand to cancel. Let me just go back again. Look, so you're going to go here, try other additions, and then you're going to click switch to free version. I understand and cancel. Okay, so that's going to get you in to the free version. The the, the um, test data as imported and now we can really get into it so let's start off by going across these tabs at the top and explaining what they all are then i'll come back and individually talk about them um, in in separate lessons as we go forward right so obviously the home you can set your home page up to show you whatever you want you've got options to edit these um these different little mini reports and you can have some financial stuff there but generally, it's like, what have I got to do? Where are my leads? Oh, yeah, I'm not sure if I have leads. Uh, Follow-up tasks. Do I need to make phone calls? Do I need to book meetings? Everything you need at a snapshot is in your home page, right? And we'll talk about changing it later. Now, leads. Leads, for me, are people that are you haven't yet contacted, you haven't yet um, made, made the... Uh, what we're saying the the people that are, are not your contacts they're not your, not actual accounts they're not people that you've interacted with yet someone's filled out a, a form on your website and they've and you've tracked it to a lead somebody said so in this security industry someone said oh um i was in the i was in the sports center the other day that i heard somebody saying they need a new fire alarm you put in lead new fire alarm sports center yeah, I was round. The, I was at the uh, I don't know the, the local shop looking for a looking for a new burglar alarm. All oh, right, put it in as leads. So basically, the people that are touching you first are leads. You cannot create deals from these leads. That's why I say they are they are grapevine contacts. They're people that are the first level coming into your coming into your funnel uh, because you can't create a deal for a lead. So. So that's why they are they are the, the front end, the people, the tire kickers maybe. You've got to quantify, are you going to take this person further? Are you going to contact them? Do they want to hear more from you? They're, they're, the, they're the top level of your funnel. Contacts, uh, this is swap round actually. So contacts are the people. The different. I'll explain contacts and accounts straight away. Accounts are the business. Contacts are the people that work for the business. So sometimes you'll have an individual. So say you're a, again you're a security company. Mrs. Smith lives in a bungalow. She wants a burglar alarm. She is both the contact and the account. Whereas if it's a if it's a um, a commercial business, the account will be the company name, company information. It's where you'll track all the invoices to that company. Um, well, you would do on a paid version. Uh, and then the contacts are the people, the people that you're touching, the people that you're talking to. And we're going to go through and, and show exactly what that shows. Deals. If uh, obviously 
a deal is a deal. Sometimes it says opportunity, sometimes it's prospect. I'm not sure if you can change the name in um, in the free version, but I'll, I'll have a look and I'll come back to it uh, in the next lesson if you can. So, so if you don't call it deals, you call it prospects or or opportunities. This is where this is where your big part, your CRM, is. What stage is uh, what stage is the deal at? Where where in your pipeline is this deal? Activities is a page where you're booking your calls, you're booking your meetings. You're booking your open deals. You're looking at what do I need to do? What have I got open? Uh, and then you're following up on that sort of stuff. So you wanted to close that down as much as you can. Reports is obvious. All your your basic reports, all the tracking reports, the funnels, the, the financial reports, stuff like that. All living in reports. Feeds. What's new? When you've got three users, I'm not going to set three users up here, but you can you know you can type in. Uh, working at uh, the leisure center want a new fire alarm something like that and you would add it and uh, this is moved actually your feed used to be up there um, and then you could also put like has anybody else worked there and one of the other sales team could say hey yeah I know Steve is the manager or I know Sarah she's um, she's a head lifeguard or I you know I don't know but you can type in you know or somebody else can see this as a you call uh, I've worked the let me know if I can help or I'm a member you might one of the other salesmen might say I'm a member there let me know if I can help right so so this is different different people uh, it would say it would say your name really rather than security. I'm guessing that when I signed up, I didn't put a name in. Um, campaigns is is thinking like, um, if you, I always just say yellow pages, but people don't do yellow pages anymore, do they? Uh, if you do a Facebook ad, and you say to a lead, or a contact as they come in, where did you get this information? Uh, or you track it, or you can track it from where they come in. Uh, you can track it to a campaign. So say you've spent ten thousand dollars on a Facebook ad, and then you've but you've got a hundred thousand dollars worth of work out of it. When you're talking in negotiation, or you can automate it to tag to it. Say that this campaign was this person, this lead was brought in via a Facebook ad, or via Yellow Pages, or an advertisement, or a TV ad. So it's always good to know where people have come from, isn't it? So you can say what's working and what's not. Documents. Shared documents that you want to save for people. You know, you might put in here um, um, user manuals for for a product, or or you know, um, just the the articles or the documents that you use all the time. Just add them in there, and you can get to it. Uh, and then visits is is probably a sales IQ uh, automatic visitor. Impress your visitors. I'm not sure if that'll work or not on the free version, but you can put a code on your website. It'll tell you who's there. Uh, Big sign you see, use Mr. Hot Lead. Yeah, that's. I'm not sure about that on the free version, but I'll come back to that as well uh, in a ne in a later lesson. So that's just a quick fly through of the tabs at the top. Right. So let's just jump in a little bit deeper into your leads and how you're going to use them. So we're going to go. We'll go with this first one, Leslie Craghead lead owner uh let me just change that actually let me go uh to my account profile full name let me change this to paul nicholson just because i obviously didn't set it up properly when we started so let's go back to leads sorry i'm going to go in to a lead it's going to show when that picks me up as when it refreshes, it'll pull, pick me up as Paul Nicholson. You've obviously got a phone number. If you've got the mobile app, which I'll show you as well, you can just straight out phone from the app. You can schedule activities or notes. So you could say, uh, Leslie works at the leisure center. Something like that. Or whatever it is. Um, she works at Red Decker. You can add no, sorry, that's what we've just done. You can add attachments, activities. You're going to want to create a new task, you know, meeting, 
Well, sh schedule call. Uh, ah. Due date. We're going to do it before in high priority. Mime the owner. You don't want to do a repeat on a call. You might do, but more fields if you want to change stuff. Uh, welcome call. See if interested. Done. Save. And it'll track up here. You'll see open activities. If you connect your email to uh, the account, you're going to be able to see any interaction between your email and this person. You're going to be able to see close activities, any events they're invited to, any campaigns they've come from. So this was we're talking about the network. Uh, getting started you have to connect your social networks and you can track you can see you can actually track a link to whoever that person is so it only really works on twitter and google plus facebook it does work but it's not brilliant so you would connect your twitter account and then you'd be able to track that person um which i'll show you in another in another lesson right so this is deals sorry this is uh, leads so you what you the goal of this person is to convert it into an account right so you're going to click so you You've made a you've made a call. This you know it's Leslie at the at the um, leisure centre. I'll just stick with that for period. Uh, she wants you to. She's she's giving you the nod to to go further, and it's now an active deal that you're going to follow. So we're going to convert it um, into a new account, which is Red Decker, which is the company she works for. Create a new account, and then you can create a new deal for this account straight away. So. I'll do that. So I'm going to say the amount for the deal. It's a big building. So I'm going to say 20,000 closing day. I'm going to give myself six weeks to do it. Stage qualification campaign source. There wasn't a uh, contact role. Uh, so whoever the contact is, I'm going to say Leslie's the decision maker and convert. So that's taken her from a lead to now an account, a contact and a deal. So, the, the goal, obviously, of all leads is to find out if they're worthy or not of, of pursuing. And when you when you get the nod, convert them over. Cool. So now the beauty of Zoho is you can jump around to contacts and people and businesses. You can you can jump all over and quickly get into where everything is. So let's talk about accounts next. So here's the account of a um, Red Decker. There's a deal in place for 20,000. Here's a contact. Obviously, there were more than one that'd be showing you the contacts. You can click here to get to deals, see the deal. You can quickly add a deal. You know, you might, um, uh, I haven't picked up my name yet, has it? You might quickly say um, a 10,000 deal for a CCTV system. Closing day, end of the month. Leslie's made out, she's interested. Type. Uh, if it's new or existing, this is new probability or probability works off the stage, but I'll come back to deal information in a minute. Next step, um, cold call campaign source. Let's just do that. Interesting CCTV. So you can quickly from that, from that account, add another deal. So now when you go to deals, you've got two. Uh, you've got the contact, you've got any emails, you're going to see anything closed activity. Again, you can connect the Facebook or the social media to it. Should I do that quickly? I'm not sure if it's going to let me, um, it's going to let me do it. Come on. Yeah, I'll, I'll skip that for now. I will come back to it. So you can see basically everything you're going to need from this customer is in here. If you want to type in that there's 50 employees, whatever's important to your business to change it. You haven't got a lot of customization options in the free version like you have on the more the paid version. You can actually change a lot of things. Industry, you can change these to whatever you want. So um, wireless. What will it be under? Sports Center, non-management, large enterprise, ERP. Yeah, it's not going to be there. Let's go service provider. So you, you get what I'm saying. You've got a link to the website. You've got a link to, to the company. And you, it's just a snapshot of everything that's happening in that company. Um, so it's easy to, to manage accounts. 
you can you can add filters the views are important because you're going to want to filter down to maybe just your where all the accounts you're involved in if you give them a rating you can add you can add um columns depending on ratings uh, of what's been going on and you can filter down and create a new filter can you create a new filter in your on the free version maybe you can't but you can get rid of things like if you don't if you don't want the website you just untick it right uh building city i don't know whether you want that or not but you can see you've got you can edit and change the uh the accounts view so you can quickly find whatever you're looking for and if you're trying to find uh what was it red decker red decker was it yeah red decker you can just type in as well and, and that'll jump it so there's lots of different ways of jumping around to the accounts to get your information right let's just talk about adding accounts i realized i didn't show you that i just showed you a list right so again in zoho there's a plus button here to add an account there's a plus button up here add an account you're just going to jump in um acquired marked failed project active account name um smith's toy store phone number whatever it is right account site um doncaster if there's more than one site fax numbers parent account if it's a if it's a child of a, a major major business you might have sub accounts website smiths.com account number if your account department might be sme one two three four ticket symbol you know you don't, you don't have to fill out too much of this stuff ownership private public government so there's all sorts of things you may want to and you can add and remove these to uh whatever you value i mean there's something it's, there's it's overkill information but it's good if you want it and then you just click save uh account number can only be number and then in that account you can now see all those details you can hide the details if you don't want to see everything or show them again uh, but you'll see them in your account list if i make it 50 here we go smith's toy store so it's really easy to add accounts you can also same with contacts import a list of accounts i'm not going to show you how to do it in this video you want to uh have a look in my training for a place where it'll show you how to import accounts you basically have your customer file csv format headers are what fields it's going to be and then you map each field to the header and then import it cool right so let's go into contacts and again you can use obviously you can bump around contacts at the top you can filter down what was it les is your leslie and z Lex, oh, it was Leslie, was it? Yeah, Leslie. And you can see deals that she's involved in, any actions that you've got scheduled, uh, phone numbers, department. Um, say she's the building management. Building management. There's not a lot of fields anymore. There used to be quite a few more fields on the uh, free version. Um, again, notes, any deals, open activities, closed activities, emails that have gone between you. You can send an email direct if you want. Uh, security, yeah. I don't want to send it in case it's actually a real person, even though it shouldn't be. But you can send an email direct from there you can make the phone call direct but contacts obviously it's pretty obvious it's just a list of contacts information on them jump in jump to the deals see where they're standing um and no interaction quickly add an activity you know log a call if you just if you've just made a call with that person you log a call subject um um I don't know review quote 
called purpose prospecting and negotiation related to the deal the call type uh outbound i think because when you're scheduling it afterwards it's it's outbound completed call 6 22 a.m call duration save you'll get it you can you obviously take your time and fill it out properly but when you come to do your reports later on you can see all the calls that have happened all the meetings that have happened and it's just good for you to track how many calls you've done a week or how many calls that have happened and uh, everything everything in the contact is right there for you isn't it? so you can add a picture if you if you want a picture stuff like that so i think that's that's i think it, it's starting to be quite obvious isn't it what these are the next stage is deals which is where everything gets funky I've just realized that I haven't shown you how to add a contact. So lots of different ways to do the same thing in Zorro. Click add. Um, it, sorry, if you're in contacts, you just click add. It'll jump you to that page. If you're anywhere else, you can just go up to the plus button up here. Click contacts. Fill out information, lead source, if you know where they've come from. Uh, if you know their salutation, Miss Sarah smith last name smith you don't have to know the first name you have to know the second name and accounts add an account that it's associated with or create a new account title of the job um sales manager email sarah at morlong.com department sales phone number phone number if you know Date of birth, I mean, it's kind of that, so uh, you can wish them happy birthday and things like that, isn't it? Email opt-out. If they don't want you to email them, you go tick that. Skype ID, secondary emails, you know, um, Twitter names. In fact, I'll put mine in and show you. Put this in a go. Address, information, description, but that's how you add a contact. And if you go show details, it'll show you more of those contact details. So things like Twitter, you can jump in and go straight to the Twitter account. So you can see those information there that you can edit. You know, if you if you get the phone number eventually, you can add it. You can edit the whole thing by going back to that timeline. So that's just quickly how to do it. You can also import a list of contacts. It's really a lesson in itself. You want to be careful before you, you import, but you're just going to add a file, uh, your CSV file, your contacts, and then you pick which list, um, which which field represents which column in your um, file. But I, you you want to, if I was you, I would look for a um, an actual lesson on how to import, import contacts to so CRM, so hopefully that makes sense. So deals is really where you're gonna live in your CRM, obviously your sales team. It's every, everything you're gonna do to get more sales, to get through your funnel, is gonna live in deals. And you've got these two views at the top here. So there's the old, there's a, there's a list view that shows exactly what stages everything's in and just a list of companies, or there's the, it's called Kanban. And you can see now from qualification to lead analysis, you can see how much money is in each stage. And what you can do is if you say, I've just phoned um, Leslie about the CCTV and I've moved it to value proposition, or I've got to ID that there's a, trouble, uh, a troublemaker, a decision maker, or it's now at quote or proposal level. And again, there's always a different ways of moving things across. You can jump into a lead and you can just tag it here. Look, ID, propose, closed one, put it into negotiation. Uh, I need to find parts, numbers. You probably won't put that in notes. You put um, once a new gate system something like that just a quick note uh, you might put uh, old gate rusted out uh, rusted out save it um, 
Oh, it's, it's taken up the deal owner now, hasn't it? Stage name, you can edit this, right? So you can go to the, the deal name, a Trula gate system, save. Um, I didn't actually talk to you about accounts and contacts, but you just go to, you can go to add and just create a new contact, right? I, I kind of thought I didn't, um, I didn't tell you, I, I thought I was a bit quick telling you on the accounts and contacts. And you can go to accounts and just add an account up top here, account, add, contacts, add. Lots of different ways to get the same place, deal, add. So if you've got a brand new deal, a brand new customer, we'll just walk through that. We're going to go add new. Um, it's not picking them up there, is it? So we're going to say what? We're going to say um, corner shop. I will just call it a corner shop. Uh, we're going to say corner shop um, fire alarm system. Let's go with that. 5,000. It's going to cost 5,000. Corner shop. In fact, that I'll, let's call it Wagstaff's. That's what it is around here. Wagstaff's corner shop fire alarm. Whatever you want to call it. Closing date. Again, we'll give ourselves a couple of weeks. The account name. So from here, you can create an account, new account, uh, Wagstaff's corner shop wagstaffs oh no you can put a phone number if you know it you don't need to know it or not wagstaffs.com save and associate stage uh, needs analysis type existing business probability you, it maps out itself next stage um, mage make a call Expected revenue because that 20% is a uh, thousand. So it's just how it populates your funnel lead source uh, employee referral campaign You can quickly put one in hello pages Even though we've just said it was employee referral status active start date January 1st expected revenue 20,000 Save and associate a yellow pages thing. Contact name. We're going to need a new contact. Uh, Mrs. Sarah. Oh. What's happened? Oh, there you go. Sarah Wagstaff. Account name. Uh, it should come if we start. Wagstaff. New account will be created. No. Wagstaffs, associate that email, Sarah at Wagstaffs.com, phone number if you've got it. So that tags in the contact, needs a new fire alarm, save, and you've added, you've added a, a deal to your, uh, to your deals. If you go in here, you're going to see there's the deal. Adds to your uh, funnel. You can move it across. Jump in. Uh, I don't think you can add a quote, can you, in the free version? Uh, activities. Yeah, you're going to be able to add an event and a call, but you're not going to be able to add a quote, which is cool, but paid version. But this will just get you started. So you can see that you've got your deals. When you've won it, closed one can just save it or you can go close lost or close lost to competition and typed in uh, SAS security won the job on price always good to know why you're winning or losing stuff right save it and that one will close now because it's been moved to deals uh, close lost to competition it's going to show up here eventually there you go. Close off the competition. I don't really think you need on this Kanban to see uh, things that have lost because you're just going to eventually have loads of won or lost so you can filter it out. So hopefully that makes it was a quick fly through deals, but you're going to live in deals. You're going to be all over your deals, whether you want to be in that Kanban or you want to be in a list seeing things. Uh, you want to 
filter the list via closing date or you want more information you might want to filter it by probability which is automated through um did i click on that no come on through the deal stage really didn't really like it did it but you can click there and save it um so so that was deals we've flown through it but i think you'll get the drift it's all about moving from your pipeline moving from starting a deal ideas of uh, jobs that are wanted moving through your funnel uh, and getting to that closed door one state so let's talk about reports and you go into reports your main ones are something like your pipeline probability uh, total leads obviously the main ones are here open deals showing you the money you can edit the report if you want say you don't need to see the stage you can just remove it if you want to see the deal owner you can oh it's already there you can add it you might want to put lead source you can add it and save it so you can you can make the reports work to however you want them to do with this is really quick overview it's not really it's not really um how to use all the reports because it's a it, again it's a lesson in itself today's leads everything's today right uh, a lot of people ask for calls don't they um activity report all calls today show any calls that have been made uh, deal reports, recent reports that you've used, reports created, obviously you haven't, accounts and contacts, key accounts. So you can you can see that you can just jump around the report, see exactly what you need, see, you know, so you can favorite a report, just give it a star, give your favorite reports a star, activity, let's do that call one, all calls, favorite reports there, jump in, edit them, change around with the filters and the information show you exactly what you need uh, you can export it print it send it stuff like that i'm not going to show you exactly in that in this as i say i've got full training free free training where it's going to show you exactly how to use reports and everything but you can see it's pretty intuitive jump in dive into the reports filter them to however you want them to work uh, and that makes it easier to say show you the mobile apps i'm about to sign in hopefully my signing works straight away obviously you go to the app store of your relevant uh, android or apple download the um, app sign in it's going to sync the crm data and then it's pretty self-explanatory uh customizers i've got an old phone to be fair manage your privacy all right go away uh okay so when i go home i can see events that are there i can see things that are happening i can see tasks that i've done so this was one that i set up register for upcoming crm webinars i can see information here on follow up with lead in tasks i can see the feeds the um, things that have happened jobs deals that have started if there was other people you'd be able to see them if you had permission you'd be able to add a comment if you want uh, that was the comment one to um, working at leisure center so so if you're on the phone and you've seen somebody else put cool good luck i know you wouldn't put that but i just never really think before what we would put so I can see my leads, all those people that I need to convert to um, uh, convert to accounts, convert lead, same as what you would on there. I can make a phone call direct. So here, call that number, 555. Uh, I can go to my contacts. It makes a really good contact system. In fact, it's, sometimes it's better than the contact system on your phone so let's try and find leslie leslie at red Echo. make a call uh send a text message clone the contact upload a photo so you can take a picture of her and upload it but i'm not sure why you want to send an email direct discard uh let's go back 
Let's go more deals. Obviously, everything we're in interested in. All deals. Closing next month. Closing this month. I need to close this one. Uh, 70,000. Add a note. Add a uh, attachment. Get approval from manager. Is a task completed. Uh, negotiation stage. Let's move it to closed one. My computer is probably going to beat, but I think I've turned sound off it. You get a notification because there's a big deal closed. But I think you can see it's pretty self-explanatory, the, 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 um, the, the mobile device. If you've got a newer phone, which you must have if you're a salesman, uh, it's going to be a lot better than mine. Obviously, the settings and things you want to change. Again, we'll go through more in, in, in depth in training. This is really an, in, an overview of, of what you can expect with Zoho. So it's really cool that there's an app that you can just do a lot of work from your app. So I think you're getting, there's a lot you can do. There's a lot of things to learn. Uh, best practices and stuff is, is always cool to find out. So I want to quickly talk about training, the training I provide. You'll see if you go to paulnicholson.com forward slash Zoho CRM, there's the two sign-up links at the top. Then there's a quick video on the training uh, and a sign-up for the training. It's free. I'll, I'll just go through it. Uh, let's go security. Uh, that email I've used. This email puts you on an email list about Zoho. So if there's anything new in Zoho, if there's anything that I think that you'd, you'd benefit your business, I'm going to email you. I'm not going to hit you with lots of emails, but... There's also an unsubscribe button. So it just gives me your email to allow me to just quickly um, get in touch, let you know what's new. So click join today to join the training. Uh, oh, I'm logged in. Let me log out of here. Uh, log out. Let me just go back. So if you go to paulnicholson.com, I have to use a different name. I won't actually. Uh, Zoro CRM. It's because it's what it's going to do is going to take you to sign up form if you're not logged in. So it's going to be a sign up. So again, uh, put in your email, security at paulnicholson.com, add a new, add a username, happy me, security, whatever you want it to be, make sure it's available. Put in your name, Paul N, add a password, create a new account. You're going to get an email from the forum here we go the zoho one club forum activate your account click here to activate your account continue to forum and you are in and this is a full zoho forum but there's obviously a lot to do with zoho crm it's going to want you to just read the the welcome bot uh, message and you're in you can jump in if you're doing more than just zoho crm you can see there's all these different zoho apps but you're going to be interested in this Zoho, Zoho CRM training section where there's official Zoho training, how to import contacts, how to, you know, document management. And then there's, oh, let me go back. There's custom Q&A where people are asking certain questions. How do you do this, Paul? How do you do that? I'll create a specific uh, video for you. If you don't find, oh, what you can also do is reply to anything. So how to send a blueprint doesn't actually work on the free version. Uh, that was somebody else said of. Uh, deal to signed. You can just reply. That's cool. Ah. Uh, does it work on the free version? Something like that. You can ask a question. You can also tag me in a question. So you can go to Q&A and say... Um, how do I import contacts? I'll just copy and paste that, but you can just type it in at Paul. So if you type my name in at Paul, uh, would be great to see a video. Or do you have a video? Create the topic. Oh, you reply. You can't do it too fast, but it's not that slow. It's like it's like ten seconds. You can't just fire out loads. It stops spam. So I'll get a message from you, and then I'll be able to jump in and reply. Here's a video on how to do that. 
So it's full training, it's totally free. What you want to do then, what, what you want to do then is, is after you've used OCRM for a while, after you've thought this could do a lot for my business, and I want to look into what's the next level, I recommend Zoho One. So if you see here now, if you see on this forum, Zoho One is every Zoho app in a um, in a bundled pricing subscription, and it's it's there's over forty apps. So if you click on Zoho One trial or go to paulnicholson.com forward slash Zoho One, I've got some information on uh, on Zoho One. I've got a four part training course just on exactly what what Zoho One is. If you go to YouTube, uh, if you just go to YouTube, type in Zoho One. That video that's, uh, where were we? That video that's going to be there is actually the first video that shows up when you Google it. So if you don't want to, if you don't want to type in, um, if you don't want to join that email list about Zoho One, you can just go to YouTube and type in Zoho One. It gets you the same thing. It's going to give you information. It's going to talk to you about pricing, but I, I recommend that you look into Zoho One as the next level. As the if you're going to pay for Zoho, just go to Zoho One because it's the it's the top tier um, Zoho enterprise level Zoho CRM. But then it's every other app for the same enterprise price. So look into Zoho One. I've got full training in the forum. We've got a private Facebook group for Zoho One where you're going to get absolutely everything you need out of it. Okay. So if you're still with me, we are um, we are done. Hopefully that makes sense. Hopefully you can see the possibilities of Zoho. I really like it. It's customizable. You can edit it. You can do what you want on the paid versions. The free version is a little bit more limited. But once you get get into using it, there's a lot of third-party integrations you can use with other things. I've not covered, but I cover in training. Uh, and a lot of people like it. A lot of people use it. There's a 30 million users, I think. You've got some help stuff here. There isn't the live chat help on the free version, which is a lot better um, when you pay. Um, but any questions, you know where I am. Leave a comment below. Well done for getting to the end of the video. Hopefully it's helped. Uh, more help to come. See you all soon, guys. Thanks.